Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bean here, and today I'm coming at you with something familiar, a deck of cards. Yes, I'm going to be doing my July TBR, and we're going back to the game. So I did update the game a little bit since last time, because we did move, and lots of the papers fell off, so I just wrote it on in a silver sharpie. You can't see it very well, I don't think you can read it completely, but you can pause it and read it if you want to. Um, I reattached these off camera because honestly it was just gonna take way too long to do so on camera and that probably just shouldn't be a whole different video in general. Let me know if you want that. But for those of you who have not seen this, um, you can go back to the January uh, TBR game video, but basically I am going to draw six cards from this deck and they're going to match um, two prompts here. We have the suits up top and then the numbers to the side and I'm going to match and figure out my prompt for a book that's going to be on my TBR this month. So I still need a way of hanging this up. I haven't found one yet. So I am going into this and I am basically restarting the TBR because the past three months I have been doing a bunch of me of mood reading um, but yeah, so we're gonna see how the TBR game goes again, and I'm getting the feeling that I'm gonna stick with the TBR game itself, because it does kind of regulate what I'm reading a little bit better, so I think I'm gonna do that. So a lot of July's, um, picks are probably going to be a Polycon, because we are going to a Polycon in July, and I'm so excited about it, um, but not all of them, just some of them, I think, so we'll see how this goes, but... Let's get started. I'm going to shuffle the deck a couple times. Um, I did put all of the cards back in here. I did also count. There are 52 cards in this deck right now, and I saw the top one, so we gotta like shuffle it again, and we're gonna do, I don't know if I can do this in the air. I don't think I can, but nope. All right, we have shuffled. All right, you guys ready? Let's get started. First card is the Ace of Diamonds. All right, so Ace of Diamonds is this first one right here. And this is Adult Fantasy. Oh, come on, focus, please. There we go. Adult Fantasy. So, an adult fantasy book, eh? Well, this is just not fair because I basically only have adult fantasy books. All right, so for this first prompt of adult fantasy, I'm hopping on a bandwagon. I'm going to read From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Main reason being because we are going to a polycon and I do want to actually have read some more of Jennifer L. Armentrout's stuff rather than I've read, I've read Storm and Fury by her, but I haven't read anything else. So let's give it a shot, see what happens. Yeah. I don't know much about this one. I don't remember. I really don't. So we're going to go into this one blind and see what happens. Yay. All right. Card number two is the three of clubs. All right. Three of clubs. Why am I looking at it? It's not going to tell me anything. All right. So clubs one, two, three is this one. Oh, interesting. Put this down. Reread. A reread. Okay. Um, don't do a lot of rereads, honestly. But this will make John very happy. Let's give it a shot. Let's reread Name of the Wind. This is part of my yearly reread challenge now that I'm doing with John. And he has already reread Name of the Wind. It's his favorite book. Um, and he's been trying to get me to reread it. And supposedly the third one's supposed to come out soon. I haven't heard anything, Patrick Rothfuss. Please update us. I would really like to know. Thank you. Um, but I do. I, I did want to reread this one this year, so I will jump in. And I do also have the audiobook for this one, so I will be able to listen to the audiobook as well at work. So let's read the chonker of a book. Although this version is so pretty because there's art and it's just so lovely. But it's just it's just so pretty. So this is the... I want to say the 25th, the 10th anniversary, this is the 10th anniversary edition. Um, it is so dang pretty, but yes. Next card is the Nine of Spades. All right, let's see what we got here. 
spades on the end. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not what I expected, but I am, I'm okay with this. So this is a library book. I have a lot of those. Um, I'm not going to actually pick one right now because I will be checking out a lot of library books because um, I have this habit of checking out a lot of library books. So this will just, it'll be one of the library books I check out because right now I have like 15 out as well. So it's going to be probably one of those. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. But yes, so a library book. That's actually very exciting. Card number four. Four of hearts. All right. Let's see what we got. Hearts. One, two, three, four. Damn it. Okay. 2X book. This is a second chance book. So I gotta give a book a second chance. Damn. Um. I don't keep books that I don't enjoy. Oh, uh, you know what I'm gonna have to read? Damn. All right. Callie, this is going to make your day. I'll try A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I could not get through this book the first time I, I attempted to read it. We'll try again. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll like it better. Um, but I was not a fan of our main character. I did not like her. Um, and I know you're not supposed to, but that doesn't make me want to read the book. So... We'll give it a shot. All right. Give me a couple. <laughs> All right. Number five. Almost there. Ooh. The Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades. So I'm going to go from the bottom up because it's the second to the bottom. This one. <laughs> All right. NetGalley newest. So the newest book I have gotten from NetGalley. What is that? I wonder. I gotta go look it up, actually. <laughs> All right, so the book that I am going to give to read is gonna be Slaying the Dragon by Ben Riggs. I have the audiobook of this. Um, this is a nonfiction. Hold on, let me get more information on it. This actually kind of makes me excited. Um, this is the sec A Secret History of Dungeons and Dragons. So it's someone who's unveiling the secret history of TSR, the company that unleashed... A Imaginations with Dungeons and Dragons. It was driven into ruin by disastrous management decisions and then saved by their bittersweet rival. So, all right, I'm curious. This is an audiobook, so it shouldn't take me too long to read it, but I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Although my TBR so far is only two physical books that I own, because I don't own Akotar. Aqu um, but yeah, so this will be fun. This will be fun. And the last one I have... Six of clubs. All right. A lot of clubs here today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Damn it. Um, um, don't have any here. All right. This is before 1900. I have drawn this like four times already. Like, this is ridiculous. I've, oh, I, I guess I'm reading all my classics now. Um... I don't have my Jules Verne book here, but let me see if I have something else though. Hold on. So I don't have anything here that is from before 1900 because I didn't bring a lot of my books, um, but I guess I'll go find my Jules Verne book and I'll just continue my, my read through of all of his stuff. So I will read Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Um, I haven't actually read this one yet, again, uh, so I am curious to see how it goes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but that's alright. And that's what I got for you guys here today. So, I have two of the physical... <laughs> I only have two physical books that I will be reading this, this month. Well, I have a couple more, but they're just not here. Um, so I need to go find them at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's my TBR for July. We'll see what happens with it. I'm very curious. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting. But yeah, so I am kind of happy because I do have a NetGalley book on here. So I will be finally starting to catch up on my NetGalley books. 
um, because I am very behind on that. If you want a video on NetGalley stuff, I can make one of those. I've been doing using NetGalley for like three, no, I've been using NetGalley for over six years. Um, and I've gotten a lot of really good books from there. I've gotten some of my favorites from there. So yeah, but that's what I got for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, now is the perfect time to give it a thumbs up and hit, to hit that subscribe button down below. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and the occasional Sunday. If you want to be reminded when we post these videos, hit the little bell icon down below. I know not a lot of you actually subscribe when you watch our videos. Please do. It does help us out quite a bit, and you can always uns uh, unsubscribe later if you decide to. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep reading. Bye!